So I have built the workshop, the carport. I even had time to build a chicken coop. Good morning, girls. And having built all of those, I can now start with the camper van's refurb. Okay then, this video is going to be a bit more of an explanation video in, in what I'm going to do and what I'm trying to achieve in what I'm doing, basically. Five years ago, round about now, I bought this van. It wasn't the original van I was going to buy, it was another van, it was the Mark IV version. Unfortunately that fell through and we bought the train tickets and we couldn't get the refund back on the train tickets. So this was the second choice van. I should have moved on to the third choice van to be honest with you, but I didn't. The back end was smashed in, the paint came off once I power washed the van off. What I thought was the turbo turned out to be the engine and around about two meters square worth of welding needed doing upon the van as well. So I spent pretty much the first year in renovating the van. The second year using recycled caravan parts from a smashed up caravan I bought, I built the interior to what you see what it is today. Now, moving five years forward, present day our needs are pretty much changed now we both work from home and that allows us to travel a bit more last year I spent around about two months away in the van uh, going to different shows and just traveling around the Peak District and Yorkshire and we could only do that because obviously we could work from the van so we need to change the van layout slightly so we'll start from the back and we work our way forwards, I think. Right, the bedroom is pretty much going to be the same, but it is going to be retrimmed again. However, from this wall onwards, everything is coming out. The wall, that's going to be coming out. And basically, if we go on this side, the wall will be cutting out a bit more along here, exposing a bit more of this mattress because when you lean or crawl into bed and you lean onto this metal piece here, it really does jar your knee. Up here, we'll be cutting the wall out as well, making a sort of an headrest. So the rest of this wall will be removed. Sink area and sink unit, we're going to remove as mentioned, headrest. We're going to have an office area for myself and Dom. So when we're out travelling, we can carry on working. So the sink may or may not go into the shower room, which is it. And to be honest with you, I think I'll have to shrink this down a bit. Especially this way to give a bit more space in this office area here. Toilet wise, we'll have to go to the back. Shower tray will have to go to the front so I can gain access to the cassette from inside the garage. The main access won't be from here, it'll be from the front, I would imagine, which I'll explain a little bit more as we go through here. Fridge, that's also going. We're going to replace it with a compressor fridge. This one's a freeway fridge, hasn't worked for the past six months. The second time it's let me down, it's going. I've had enough of it which will free up this hairy ear and we can gain access from the front into the shower room. Probably on the corner here, because I'll have to chop this corner bit off so it'll be on a bit of an angle. Because what I'm doing here, kitchen unit and wall, both going. We're gonna open up the back end of this fan. Kitchen unit is going because it's a little bit too small for what I want to be putting into this kitchen unit. I've bought two 24 volt lithium batteries. They are rather big and they will not fit in the current unit. So I've built, I'm currently building, 
a new kitchen unit which will come out a little bit longer, a little bit wider to house those batteries. Also at the minute within this cupboard we have the DC electrical system for the camper van and the AC electrical system for the camper van. So the both being split. I want to put them all into one cupboard. Because we've got new lithium batteries going into this cupboard, on tap it will give us 14,330 watts worth of power, which means I can get rid of LPG. So I'm going to replace this hob here for a new induction hob. We're going to remove this cooker here and we're going to revert back to a microwave which means I've got to replace the overhead storage lockers as well on both sides to match the new kitchen unit and the new microwave will go here so that's the kitchen unit as we move further forwards we have the bench seat here this will be my third attempt of making a bench seat that is comfortable because currently the first one and this one are not comfortable at all. So this will be going and because we're removing the fridge and its unit I can make it a little bit longer. Not only that I can make the backrest a little bit shorter because at the minute it is blocking off all the light from that window there. Currently underneath this seat is the 120 litre fresh water tank and the Truma Ultra Star water heater. I'm keeping both of those because with the new batteries I should be able to still run the Truma Ultra Star water heater. Moving further forwards we come against this bulkhead wall here. It is insulated, I like it because it does two things. I do not feel like I'm living in a fishbowl if we opened it up and also during the winter it keeps the heat in the habitation area and during the summer months it keeps the heat out of the habitation area. However Don doesn't like it but I do like our idea of opening it up so I'm going to do that and because I'm going to open it up we're going to have a swivel seat on the front passenger seat. However it's still going to be a hard bulkhead wall it's just going to have panels that we can remove and open it up and revert back to it again probably during this winter months. Van interior colour scheme is changing. I've got three colours in mind. I've not set my heart on it yet, so I'm not going to commit to telling you what colours those are. This final stuff's coming off the walls, and I'm going to replace or retrim most of it anyway. Reverting back to the fridge again, on the front end of this kitchen unit will be a new 24 volt compressor fridge, and that will be housed within the new kitchen unit at the front here. Right, let's pop outside because there's a few bits outside I want to discuss. First job, replace the door lock on the cargo door. Usual Iveco cargo door problem, not closing at its top edge. Last year I had an MRT advisory to replace front discs and pads. I'm going to replace the full set of discs and pads upon the van as well as the suspension. For traverse leaf spring I'm going to replace for a new heavy duty one. I can soften the ride via the rubber buffers that you can move around within the axle. The back one will have new leaf springs and because I've got the air bellows at the back which I can adjust the ride at the back I'm going to stick with the standard ones. And I may change the solar panel on top of the roof for a bigger one, but we'll see how it go. And that's about it for the outside of the van. Now there was a reason why I showed you the workshop build and the carport build is there will be a marriage between the van and those buildings. The carport will house roughly 4,000 watts worth of solar panels, which will be then plugged into the van to charge the battery upon the van. The leisure battery upon the van will then power the workshop and that's how I'm going to go off grid with these. I have enough power within the batteries to run the full house but I'm going to do it in baby steps first and run the workshop and we'll see how we go from there on. 
So in a nutshell, I've not really gone into fine details in what and how I'm going to do this, because obviously I will be filming the full process of the refurb, rebuild of the camper van. First few videos were probably a bit slow in coming out. I remember when I first started the build up on this van, there was probably a one video per month for the first three months. We'll see how I'll get on, but there will be a bit sporadic, but I am filming the full refurb and the videos will be out as and when I've filmed and done the job. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.